they found in the foundations half of a lamp is made out of bronze, not clay. It's an oil lamp, but you only have half of it. And you have on this lamp a laughing demon. And what archaeologists believe that this was actually a double charm. It's a good luck charm in the sense that we're putting into the foundations of this building something that will give blessing to the building, but also something that will put a curse of fear upon our enemies should they try to cause harm to the building or its inhabitants. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. We've got a special clip for you today from the Watchman TV show on TBN. You can catch the show every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time and Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern only on TBN. If you love the Watchman newscast here on YouTube, you will really enjoy our weekly TBN show. Now in today's clip, we've got another fascinating archaeological discovery at Jerusalem's City of David. Our good friend Zev Orenstein joined us to make sense of a very strange ancient find and the real reason why Israel has outlasted the Roman Empire. Take a look. Thanks so much for joining us. It's always great to have you here on The Watchman Show. And we've got a very interesting discovery, to say the least, recently uncovered at the City of David that we're going to talk about today. A very rare find uncovered in Jerusalem, rare not only for Israel, but for the world, this ancient so-called lucky lamp dating back to around the year 70 AD, right after the destruction of the Second Temple by the Romans. Tell us a bit more about this find and the significance of where it was found, the pilgrimage road at the city of David in Jerusalem. So Eric, this is a place that you and I have spent a lot of time together. Of course, the city of David, the place where Jerusalem began, the historic site of biblical Jerusalem. And in the city of David today, there is an incredible excavation that's going on. At the southern end of the city of David, archaeologists back in 2004 discover the Pool of Siloam. That discovery of the Pool of Siloam leads to the discovery of the pilgrimage road, the road that our ancestors, yours and mine, 2,000 years ago would have walked on after purifying themselves in the Pool of Siloam on their way up to the temple that stood atop the Temple Mount. All of this dating back some 2,000 years. And along the active excavation of the pilgrimage road that is literally happening as we speak, as we like to say in this country, 24-6, around the clock, uh, they uncover along the pilgrimage road a very large Roman structure, perhaps a garrison or a fortress where Roman soldiers would have been stationed in the post-destruction period uh, in the year 70 and onwards. And as the archaeologists are excavating uh, this structure, they found in the foundations half of a lamp is made out of bronze, not clay. It's an oil lamp, but you only have half of it. And you have on this lamp a laughing demon. And what archaeologists believe that this was actually a double charm. It's a good luck charm in the sense that we're putting into the foundations of this building something that will give blessing to the building, but also something that will put a curse of fear upon our enemies should they try to cause harm to the building or its inhabitants. We don't have very many of these in the world. It's the only one found in Jerusalem. And apparently this was uh, a version of a Roman uh, rabbit's foot or a lucky charm meant to uh, dedicate this building that was going up along the pilgrimage road in the city of David. Yeah, Zev, clearly uh, this was a pagan Roman object, which you and I clearly do not agree with, but an interesting archaeological find nonetheless. Number one, where it was found, the pilgrimage road, of course, and number two, very rare, not many in the world. It's a window to Zev into that time frame after the destruction of the temple and Jerusalem when the Romans really tightened their grip on God's city, the city of Jerusalem. But I want to ask you, there's a bit of a parallel. You call this kind of the pagan Roman lucky rabbit's foot, but the Jewish people have a very interesting tradition that you put on your homes. Uh, tell us about the mezuzah. So it's interesting, the idea of wanting to bless a new home or a building when it's being built, that I think is a tradition that goes back many millennia and spans cultures uh, throughout the world. But the difference I think here is that when the Romans want to bless their building, they put some pagan demon shaped face in the foundations of, of this structure. Whereas for the Jewish people, we put a mezuzah up on the doorposts of our home and rooms throughout the home. And inside this mezuzah, 
inside the case, you'll have a piece of parchment. And on the parchment, you have verses from the Bible, uh, in this case, from the verses from Deuteronomy, from the Shema prayer. Uh, and it says, part of uh, what's written is, Hero Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And I think the parallel that you have here is not that the Romans are silly for wanting to bless their structure here in Jerusalem, uh, but the difference is the Romans turned to some pagan deity uh, with the idea of, of this, this half lamp is going to somehow bless the people inside the structure. Whereas for the Jewish people, the biblical inspiration is if you want to bless your home, you recognize that whatever is going to happen, whatever blessings you're going to have, it's going to come through faithfulness to Hashem, to, to God. Uh, and that's what we remind ourselves every time we walk into our home, every time we walk into a room, there is on the doorpost this mezuzah with these very significant verses from the Bible, from the Shema prayer, reminding us of our obligation to be faithful to God and to teach his, his uh, commandments uh, to the members of our home and to take it with us wherever we go. Uh, and that ultimately is the greatest source of blessing uh, that we have carried with us for thousands of years and which uh, also has its roots uh, in the Bible and in Jerusalem. Zev, I love that you brought that out. That is great. What a contrast. I love how you laid that out. Here you have the pagan Romans. And by the way, as you said, this is a demonic face on this lamp, Zev. It's actually quite scary. I would think, if anything, that object would curse your home and not bless it. I guess they had exactly. a different take. But to take it back to the Bible, you, the contrast between the cultures, between the pagan Roman culture and the Jewish culture, uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob front and center in the minds of the Jewish people at that time always, and the mezuzah on the door, and today as well, the mezuzah right. on the door containing verses from the Bible. Wow, that is fascinating. I love that you brought that out, the sharp, sharp contrast. Eventually, you see God's word is true. The Jewish people have come back to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the capital of the Jewish state of Israel today, a place where people of all faiths and backgrounds are able to come and literally walk in the footsteps of the Bible. And in the case of this discovery here, where the Romans buried in the foundations of this garrison fortress, uh, a laughing demon, and it seems that ultimately it was Israel and the Jewish people who uh, had the last laugh here, because the Romans, uh, we might find their ancient lucky charm lamps and you can go see uh, more monuments and, and uh, Roman antiquities in museums. But the great Roman Empire is long gone. They're in history books. But Jerusalem, the Jewish people, Israel is alive as we've ever been. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.